Hello, I'm Magic Al. Today, we are going to look at Hopping Frog. Um, this brewery is in Akron, Ohio. I don't know anything about it. I've never had one of their beers. Um, I went to their website, did a brief search, didn't get a whole lot of history on them, so I don't know when they started. Um, but feel free to go to their website. It's hoppinfrog.com. Uh, no G on that. H-O-P-P-I-N-F-R-O-G. This beer is from their Tower Tuesday series. I went and looked on their website in the beers, and I couldn't find any other beers in this series. Um, but what we have here is Infusion A, a coffee porter, porter with coffee added. Love porters, love coffee, and coffee porters sometimes are excellent. So I went up to their website to get some more information on the beer, and I found out a few things. One, the ABV is 6.2%. So fairly good gravity on this porter, typical. And IBU is 23. Kind of low, but that's typical of a porter. And then what I found on the website is this is a peanut butter chocolate coffee beer. And looking at the label, Hop and Frog, www.hoppinfrog.com, Akron, Ohio, Tower Tuesday Series, Infusion A, Coffee Porter, Porter with Coffee Added. There's nothing on the main part of the label with peanut butter or chocolate. Um, if you look on the side, it looks like part of the health logo right next to the Independent Craft Brewery label. It says, swirls of heavenly chocolate and peanut butter flavor surround your senses. I'm glad I looked this up before I gave it a taste. That's the kind of thing where if you tasted this expecting one thing and then had something else, you're in for trouble. But I now know, and now you know as well. Okay, let's give this beer a taste. It's a nice dark brown color. It's got a good brown thin head on top. And I smell chocolate from here. Holy cow. It's there. Okay, so even if I had not read the labels or researched it, as soon as I poured it, I know there's chocolate in here because that is all I smell. Let's get a better whiff. Chocolate? Creamy chocolate, milk chocolate, yeah, it's chocolate. I don't smell any coffee, I don't smell any hops. Um, maybe a little bit of roastiness from the malts, but not much. All right, let's give this a shot. This is interesting. There's only a little bit of peanut butter. There's only a little bit of chocolate in here. It's all in the nose, very little in the taste. I have no clue how you do that with chocolate with the brewing process. With hops, there's all sorts of ways to do this. Chocolate, I don't know. There's just enough hops to take away any sweetness. I can taste the roastiness in the malts. It's a really good porter. I can do without the swirls of peanut butter in here. And the chocolate. The coffee flavor in this is really subdued. It should have been called Infusion A Chocolate Porter with swirls of peanut butter and coffee. Okay, um, on untapped, 
if you're not following me, follow me on Untapped. I will probably only give this two stars. I'm not a fan of how everything melds together. Some people love peanut butter beers. I'm not one of them. I'll finish this. Don't worry. But uh, I may not buy a six pack of this. Well, until the next beer. Cheers. Your point is an elephant.